Erica, Erica Pitsy joins us now with more on this one. What is going on tonight? Hi, Erica. Yes, hey, Tamson. You know, our story definitely touched a nerve. Sure. And now one United States senator is calling this situation involving the feds outrageous. We'll have more on that in a minute, but let's first explain what's going on here. We've learned thousands of homeowners are being blindsided with flood claim denials on damage to their foundations that was clearly caused by Sandy's flood waters. Now take the Sass family here from New Jersey. Like most coastal homeowners, they have flood insurance through the federal government's National Flood Insurance Program, or NFIP. When they noticed clear cracks in their foundation after the storm, they thought for sure they were covered. Then their claim was denied, not because the damage was being disputed, but because the policy language, which was written by Congress in recent years, says it will not ensure loss to property caused by, directly by, earth movement, even if the movement is caused by flood. Well, tonight, we got this statement from a spokeswoman for U.S. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York, who said, Senator Gillibrand finds this report about thousands of homeowners having their flood insurance claims denied due to bureaucratic fine print to be outrageous. The senator is looking into ways to change this policy so families devastated by Superstorm Sandy get the resources needed to build and recover. And it's a good thing the senator is on this because it literally will take an act of Congress to change the language in some way so these people are protected by the very policy they paid into. This is serious. Yeah, it really is. I can't believe we're still back here talking about this and they're not even able to begin moving forward. Let's go back to the earth movement, movement though. There was not an earthquake the night of Sandy that we're not aware of. Yeah, pretty sure there was no yeah. earthquake. So that's something that is definitely raising a red flag sure. here. And, you know, it would make sense that flood insurance would not cover earth movement. But if the earth movement was caused by, by flood water. waters... Doesn't that seem like that would be covered? It, it just doesn't make sense. Disconnect. Uh, have you heard from the feds on this one at all? No, not at all. Called, emailed since yesterday, no response. All right, let me ask you this. There's a federal program, there's so many of them now, I think, that we've been uh, tossing about, but is it the same federal program that's requiring people to elevate their homes or they're not going to be insured? That's spot on, yes. This is okay. the exact program, National Flood Insurance Program, that's requiring these Sandy residents to go ahead, raise, elevate. They've got the new FEMA flood maps out there. How can these folks with faulty foundations mm -hmm. raise their homes? They've got to fix that foundation first. And this is costly. I mean, this could be upwards of hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if they have their claim denied, yep. well, then what? that's out of pocket. So what do they do? Some of these folks are saying they just got to walk away. And, and that's they don't have a choice. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Erica, I know you'll be on it. So yes, we hopefully will we'll stay hear on it. from the feds. Yes, let's hope. We'll see.